Hi everyone. Um, we're gonna try to film this video. I'm outside. I'm still in quarantine, so inside the light is very bad. So hopefully, um, this light is gonna be good enough until the sun sets. And um, excuse the noises in the background. This is um, this is a garden, so uh, there are a lot of neighbors, and they have dogs, and they do stuff. So that is gonna be heard in the background. So. Um, I wanted to film this video because I was inspired by a student that I had a few days ago and um, we were doing some preparations for his tests and we were talking about his career. I'm not going to say his name, um, but um, he was a very, very bright student, um, very young, but his English was on point and he wants to go to study abroad. And we un ended up talking about the relationship uh, between uh, his previous English teachers and um, um, how that helped him to uh, move forward and choose his career that is not very typical. And he was very emotional when talking about one of his English teachers. And um, he told me that he really appreciates him and that the words that he said to him um, Ver just were very valuable and uh, that got me thinking about um, the relationship between uh, teachers and students especially teachers of foreign languages um, and students um, that are in junior high school or I know that in a lot of countries um, including Japan and including a lot of Asian countries if you're somebody who's very young and it's very advanced in English you're gonna be a little bit bullied because of it and and that may uh, make some insecurities for you in the future. You may think that that is a bad thing and um, that you're like a weird um, person that, you know, speaks a foreign language better than his own. And um, that may discourage you from maybe uh, using your talents and choosing to study abroad or live abroad or just kind of work in this international environment. I believe that some of the students that I think personally are geniuses for their age are bullied by uh, their peers for knowing English or for wanting to pursue uh, artistic careers or uh, careers in English, English literature, international relations and stuff like that just because it's a little bit unusual and it's not something that um, a lot of the students want to. Since teachers can be almost like mentors and um, if you have a foreign teacher, a native English speaker in your country and um, you you see yourself maybe one day um, improving your English and applying to study abroad or to work abroad. Um, think of this relationship as a way that will help you to kind of um, get along better with your peers and you may also seek advice uh, from from your teacher about not only how to improve English but just how to use your talents and use this communication that you have uh, that is a little bit different than your um, home country's communication how you can use that to your advantage because the worst thing you can do is just to kind of uh, try to fit in and to forget about your talent and not use it later. A student uh, in a high school with native English speakers because your parents work there or because um, you you live there uh, for a period or if you're going to international high schools uh, don't think about your difference as something bad um, you not only know your native language that can be Japanese or Chinese or uh, Korean or any language um, but you also uh, are training your brain to think and uh, learn and um, advance in English so that that in itself is a benefit for you so you you should never feel uh, that you are different or um, lacking in any sense and your communication should not be limited because of those factors some countries teachers are um, very big authorities and they they are positioned above you and you only are there to listen to them and write down what they say and not communicate further. Um, this doesn't have to be the case with English teachers because English teachers are usually people who travel the world, who are living in a foreign country and they um, can share your experience with you and say that everything is going to be okay and that um, that your talents are going to be used in the future. So 
uh, don't be hesitant to approach them and to ask them not only about English language, but also about if you have any personal issues um, with your peers or if you're having trouble fitting in uh, into your high school in this new environment, if you are thinking about maybe um, leaving your country and going to pursue your career abroad, um, a lot of useful information can be shared in this communication, just if you openly approach your teachers. And lastly, um, high schools are very different um, from country to country. So we have some uh, prejudices about um, educational systems in different countries and those prejudices are usually wrong uh, so uh, my experiences uh, with a lot of international schools for example um, students can opt to go into special classes that focus on for example international politics or sociology or psychology so those kids are so bright and so if you're thinking that maybe your child will, will not fit in into international high school or or you're afraid that after living or studying abroad, uh, coming back to the home country is going to be a problem. Uh, these are all issues of communication. So if the communication is done in a right way, then your uh, child or teenager should not feel any negative sides of coming in and um, uh, and just kind of assimilating into this new environment. Um, instead of thinking that n being bilingual or mon multilingual or knowing few languages and being interested in uh, foreign communication uh, as a negative thing, you should definitely try to point out to your friends or to your environment how that has helped you become the person that you are and how that has opened doors for you and how that um, knowledge uh, helps you understand the world in a better way. And maybe some of your peers and some of your friends will also be interested um, in, in that as well. Because a lot of the prejudices come from uh, lack of knowledge. So if you share what you know, uh, other people will probably um, be more aware of, of your situation and you as a person. You know, I, I just, um, I wanted to talk actually about traveling, but since we are in the situation that we cannot travel and we don't know when um, our lives are going to be normal again, so uh, I don't think it would be appropriate. Maybe for the next uh, video I will think about something uh, that has to do with like tourism and traveling because that has been requested. Uh, but so far, yeah, this has been a topic that really kind of caught my attention and um, I wanted to share um, this with you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and uh, keep on practicing English. If you are having Golden Week, happy Golden Week. Uh, use it to uh, master some new skills, advance your English, and talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.